Hi, everybody. This is Jeff Jones again from theboxman.com, where we've changed the way that you should watch TV. And in this short, hopefully profound video, we're going to take a look at the top six Google Android settings for better performance. These six settings will make your Android TV devices or Google devices run flawlessly. So let's take a look. Hey guys, we are back and I appreciate if you're tuning into this video right away, maybe a week from now. Thank you guys so much for continuing to support the channel by watching the content. If you could do me a favor, um, just go ahead and give me a thumbs up if you like the content and share it with people that you care about. Uh, that really helps with the algorithm of YouTube. So without any further ado, let's jump right on in to these top six settings right away. All right, so let's get to it. So settings number one, the first thing you want to do is to lower or turn off system animations. Okay, lower or turn off system animations. To do this, we're going to have to activate developer options. And to do that, you're going to go to the settings uh, uh, wheel here. Now I am on a like a Formula Z10. Uh, this is on a Formula device. But this will work for any device if they have developer settings. So what you want to do is you want to go to device preferences and then to about. Once I'm in an about, I'm going to go to the bottom where it says the build here. Let me make sure this is the build. I'm going to press this seven times. Now I'm a developer. I'm going to hit the back button to go to the list. And I should see down at the bottom here, developer options. Okay. So what you want to do is go into these developer options and we're going to go down and we're looking for the animation scales. It's right down the list here. Um, there's three of them that we normally do and here they are right here. So here's the animation scale. Here's the window animation scale. What we're going to do is either turn them off or to 0 0.5. So or 0 0.5 right here. So I'll just go ahead and put them on 0 0.5 here, 0 0.5 here, and 0 0.5 here. Why do you do that? It makes the, the menus a lot snappier. It makes it move when you go from menu to menu, it makes things a lot snappier and it makes it just run a lot smoother. So that's the first one there. All right, let's continue on this list. The next thing that you wanna do in the top six settings is to set a background process list. What this simply does is it caps how many apps in the background. If we don't have something like this on your device, a lot of applications will run in the background and giving you a lot of buffering over time. It doesn't happen right away, but if you can eliminate these little things, it makes the performance of your Android TV device or your Google TV device run a lot smoother. So to find the background list, what you want to do is you want to go to settings here press OK. And we're going to go back into developer options. So we're going to go to device preferences. And then we're going to go back to developer options where we were. Then you're just going to go down and find, you know, the background process list. It's towards the bottom here. Shouldn't take us too long to find it. I think it's coming up right about now. So it's right now it's on a standard limit. We're going to press OK. Let's go ahead and put it on three. At the most, three processes can run in the background. Again, that gives you the ability to control how many apps are actually running in the background, which is a great thing for you. The next thing you want to do is, the next one is you want to be able to clear cache or uninstall unused apps. Now, um, that is a very simple thing to do, but it could be kind of tedious to monitor. What do I mean? So most of your applications are within the settings and they're right here. Uh, it, I'll click on see all apps. It'll give you the system apps. It'll give you a lot of different things that you have on your device. I don't have a lot of things on this device. So if something's giving you a lot of trouble and you're not using anything, in other words, if it's not a default type of application, you can just get rid of it. Right now, the only thing that's not a default application is this ExpressVPN. So what I would do is just go ahead and click on uninstall 
and uninstall it because I have a different VPN that I put on all my other devices. Proton would be the name. Um, that way you can always clear the cache and, and, and uh, you know, um, just make sure everything is clean because it really does. It frees the space. It cleans the app slate so you're starting over. Those are the good things that you can do. So make sure you clear the cache or uninstall uh, unused applications, okay? The next thing that you want to do, if you can, is that you want to enable HDMI-CEC in game mode. So you want to you wanna activate HDMI, which is a cord, uh, uh, slash CEC. So let me show you what I mean. So if I hit this here, go back some, I'm going to go back to device preferences and it's right here. I mean, you can't beat that. This is right, right where it is. I turn all these on. Okay. Because that way, when I turn off my device, it'll turn off the TV and I select the language there. That's one way to definitely do that. The next way you want to do that is you want to go all the way down, I believe, to, let's see, not accessibility, I'm sorry. Um, let me go here. I think that's it right there. You just want to do this. I just want to make one final thing here. Let me go to developer options, and I think it's right here. So we're going to go all the way down to the bottom, and I think... We can check it just to make sure if we go all the way down to the bottom, I'm almost there. And there's the video, right? There's the video right there. So there's the audio, HDMI. And then we can go to the video. So everything in here is exactly what you want it to be. So changing those things to game mode or turning all of those things initially on will give you exactly what you're looking for. And again, you can find that right here. And so that way you can turn it right on how you'd like to turn that on. And I think you'll have a better uh, experience because now your device is automatically going to turn off when you turn it off. It will definitely turn off the TV. The next thing we're going to look at is to use the custom DNS. What does that mean? Okay, you want to use the custom DNS. I think this is number six. So the next thing you want to do to use the custom DNS, it's going to be in settings. And you want to go down to the network and internet, and that's fine. I'm connected to my internet. But if I keep going down, you want to go down to uh, IP settings here, right here, right? And press OK. And then you can change it to static. And then you can change this IP address to something that you want to. I'm not going to really mess with that, okay? Or you can do this right here. You can go down to private DNS and press OK. And then you can click on where it says automatic or you can go private DNS host name or it will give you these right here. So normally you can manually input this, right, which most people use Cloudflare. Cloudflare is probably a very popular uh, domain name system that you can change your DNS or the way you, where your addresses access the internet. When you go through Cloudflare, it prevents a lot of buffering. So on a formula, you can just click on this right now and it will save it successfully to go through 1.1.1.1 or 1.001, okay? That is Cloudflare DNS. I have it already on my router. So I have some advanced settings that I place on my router. So I'm going to get that anyway. But if you don't have it and you want to try this, the reason you want to do that, it, it, because it enhances everything, the responsiveness, the reliability, and even the privacy that's on your device. And privacy is a big thing in 2025. If you haven't noticed, from VPNs to password managers, everything is pointing towards you having privacy because the internet is the wild, wild west. All right, so I'm gonna put it back on automatic. I'm gonna go ahead and close out this video and I do appreciate each and every one of you tuning in. In my next video, uh, and at the very beginning, I'm going to announce the winner because I have to get a hold of this person today and let them know that they won the Formula Z11 Pro Max 
BT won. I want to let him know that he won. And so that I can give his permission to announce his name on YouTube. I don't want to do anything without having permission. And uh, so stay tuned so you can see who won. And also so you can see the next giveaway that we're doing in the next month or so. With that said, thank you guys for watching this. If you can comment below and let me know if you've ever changed your device like this, or maybe you've done something different, share it in the comments below. We appreciate you uh, continuing to uh, support us and support streaming. Have a great day.